So welcome back to Digger Detecting guys. Welcome also to a super exciting brand new site to hunt. And uh, look, I'll tell you a little secret, one that I just found last night whilst researching. And this is why research is so damn important uh, because we just struck it lucky. So as you can see, uh, we've got the uh, the old fruit trees in front of us and this used to be an old house site. Uh, what I'll do a little bit later in this video is I'll show you my research and I'll show you how I found it. I'll show you an overlay image of what it used to look like as opposed to what it looks like now. Uh, look out we've just got our first good decent sounding signal uh, we were digging a few ones and twos one and two cent coins there before uh, but nothing like this 85 on the equinox 900 and it brings us to our first florin well our second florin a second florin for 2024 that is but our first florin for today and we've got darren and luke with us today over the back there and i did say to them there's an old house side over here i'm gonna go start over the back here guys and they're still over over at the sports oval so they are none the wise that I've already snagged myself a florin and once they know though they're probably going to hate me even more so 1947 big boy florin what a bloody ripper we've also got a one and two cent coin in the pouch plus a little dollar coin so big florin and uh, look we're only just started to touch on this site just yet uh, so I'm certain there's going to be plenty more and as I spin you around as I said there's an oval up the back there where Darren and Luke are hunting so let's keep that one secret into the pouch and it's a great way to start the day uh, let's keep going see if we can't snag a few more all right well the next target coming out of the hole we also managed to score a bit of glass coming out too so that really indicates the old house site doesn't it a uh, very interesting so put him into the pouch what we did get out of the hole though what was our signal because glass does not ring up on a metal detector unfortunately and what we did get is our second little silver coin 1910 thrippy eat your heart out how awesome is that and we uh, we found this uh, house site last night as i said uh, doing a bit of research we have been to this site before uh, to hunt the oval but not up the front here to the old house site i had no idea it existed uh, so looking on the map there last night which i'll show you the image a little bit later and looking on the map there yes there was a house site we can confirm it and uh, here we are now plucking out the coins so just amazing florin thrippence what's going to be next we still haven't even found a penny all right well something i will explain about this site just quickly uh, is it also has a lot of functions here that's all i'll say a lot of a uh, lot of party functions if you like uh, but with that it gets dropped the one and two dollar gold coins or any coins for that matter and just humming along look what we just snagged the one dollar coin look at that you can actually see the grass where it's starting to brown off and die underneath it so he hasn't been sitting here too long a pretty easy pick up with a detector swinging over uh, those uh, those tones stand out quite easily so bag him into the pouch we're an extra dollar richer aren't we how nice and as i said as we get a bit further into this site and try and find a bit more i'll explain how i found it and i'll show you that overlay image of the old house site and what used to sit here uh, compared to what it looks like now Right, well there is our next coin, and uh, finally we've got ourselves a copper coin, a penny. Look out, we've just been pulling silver so far, and that's quite okay with me. So 1944 Rue Penny, straight out of the dirt, we've just gave him a bit of a clean up. He's not in the worst condition, but he's not in the best condition either, so I'd like to see something older, which would be nice. I do think we've got a target down there still too. Just um, playing around the hole there before. Yes we do, and the penny come from up the top there. So we're going to give him another swing over, check if there's anything else in the hole. If not, I'll get you on to the next. So we've got a brick coming out of that next hole. And uh, look, I stuck the shovel in and not really knowing it was there. And I thought, oh, what is that? I've hit a concrete foundation or something. A bit out rolled the brick. No Neymar either, which uh, look, that's okay. If he did have a name, I would take him home and collect him. It's not what we're after though. Well, we're after a signal underneath the brick. I said I did not even know it was there. But look at that, we do have a coin. I knew that was there, or I knew something was there. We could hear it with a detector. Just hopeful that it was a coin. And there she be. So an old Commonwealth penny bottle looks that one. We can see the ring around the outside. A Commonwealth of Australia, it'll say. And we're not going to be able to see a date, though, until we clean him up a little bit more. And maybe with toothbrush and water when we're back at the car. Awesome. What's that? Three pennies, a couple of silvers, and a brick. We are doing super lucky at this side, aren't we? Okay, so here we are at our last target, and uh, wouldn't you know it, I missed it again. That's okay though, because we are going to get out of here in a second, and we're going to go to that secondary site. What do we actually have here? Is that a button? I think it is. I can see a shank on the back with nothing on the front. That's okay though. That's a really cool old button. 
Let's have a look. He rang up nice and high too. When we get over to Darren too, we're sort of facing the wrong way at the moment. I had to show you that image, that map. When we get over to Darren though, who's in front of me at the moment, right about there, uh, we will turn around, spin you around, and give you a bit of a look at the old map and uh, how I found this old house site. So quite an easy one when you do your research. So there we go, little shank on the back with a hole in him, the button on the front with nothing on it. Looks pretty old though, pretty cool find. I said, I'll get you over to Darren now. Let's show you that map. Right, well Luke's over here now. I just said to him, how you going over there, mate? What are you, what are you found? Are you doing any good? What'd you say you got? Because I'm hiding a secret from Luke too. I got a little silver. I said to Luke, I've got silvers and pennies. And he said, wait, silvers, plural. And uh, Luke just said then, he's got one. Oh Ooh. my God. Where'd you snag that? Before we even came in. Yeah, right. Well, you know what I got? Do you want me to show you? Not really. My booty. No, not my booty. My pouch. <laughs> What's in my pouch? Nothing I haven't seen before, mate. No, oh, I know. I know. Pretty close friends, aren't we? Ooh. Slide those into your hand. Let me delve for the rest. Oh, where are they? Hope I haven't lost them already. Got a few goldies too. Oh yeah, there's the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Flozza, trippins, two center. Nice. Flozza, I did exactly what you did. I walked nice. straight in. First target was a florin. Was it? Yeah, five <laughs> minutes, literally along no, this I track. Kept my mouth shut. So did I. I thought I. Uh, <laughs> I thought I had something good. <laughs> I did not. Oh, a dollar coin. That's nice, yeah. Luke. Yeah, I like that. These. Looks too small to be a penny, but too big to be a half penny. It's been uh, folded into like a drinking cup or something. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know. Maybe he's really worn. Oh, you just found another penny. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. yeah. They're all yours. Yeah. So uh, not nice. a bad little, not a bad little bag nice. so far. We've only got the one florin, really. Yeah, a florin sixpence or threepence. I'm looking for my next um, silver. Hey, that's cool. I like that. I think. Drinks are up. It's very ornate, very pretty, isn't it? Put that on your bar at home, mate. I do. I do, I do, I do. Do you know those things that like stamp down oh, and yeah. they when they stamp, they put the bloody yeah. thing on? Yeah, so that's where all the rollers yeah. would be, for all the letters and numbers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You found a stamp bar? Old Stampy. Awesome. All right, what we're going to do... Florin, got a yeah, that's right. you got the Stampy. So what we're going to do, the house site's paid off here. And uh, look, we've got a few coins. As I said, what we're going to do, though, is get over to the old school there and uh, check out in the uh, in the pine plantation. I haven't done it just yet, though, and Darren's walked off. And before we leave this little area, though, I will walk over the back there, spin you around to where I'm standing, and I'll show you that map and give you a look at what we've been hunting and why we knew it was here. Rightio, so let's give you a bit of an understanding of this house site. And as I said, I had no idea it was here until I did a little bit more thorough research. I had researched the oval behind me. I had researched the school across the road. I never knew there was a house site right here, though, until last night. So let me throw up that image, top left corner. You'll be able to see what I was seeing. And the reason, well, the reason why it brought me here today to start detecting. And the reason why we got the florin, the pennies, and even the little thrippins. So you'll see at the top left there, though, the image, though, it's black and white. It's grainy. It's hard to make out I know a little white uh, squares though indicate the old house or the old buildings and where there's buildings where there's houses there is occupation and activity and where there's occupation activity there's likely to be the coins as you all see and all know uh, but look we had the old house sitting up here we've got the main road out the front of the house one of the houses well one of the buildings that you see would have been about where my hand is right there and the next one looks to be over behind this fruit tree or off to the right hand side of the fruit tree and near the old shed that's still sitting there now and no that shed was not attached uh, to anything that you're seeing in that map that shed come a lot later in the 80s so anyway you'll see the uh, the house though or the, the houses the buildings and you can see the road the half uh, horseshoe shaped road uh, coming off a little laneway coming off the main road there had to come to the front of the house to pull up out the front of the house so very interesting as i said 
Uh, we did uh, we did not know there was an old uh, house here. Uh, doing that bit of extra research last night, well, we worked it out, and it's just fascinating. So that is why research is so important, uh, because it gets you onto the sites that you never, ever knew uh, they were there. So anyway, let's go over the car now. Oh, get that shovel out of the ground. Let's get over the car now with Luke and Darren. And as I said, we're getting over to the school site uh, to show you that also. Rightio, so here we are at our secondary site, and that is the old school site, as I said. It used to be hidden in amongst this uh, pine plantation, so you actually see some of the old bulbs springing up there. They look like iris bulbs to me. So look, part of the old school there, and uh, in front of us we've got part of the old uh, school bricks and blocks and foundations, and it's all happening over the back here. And last time I was in here, uh, walking off uh, down to the right-hand side, uh, we actually found the old toilet block. I think it was the toilet anyway. You could tell sort of by the plumbing coming out from the uh, from the bro uh, bricks and foundations. So some concrete there poking up out of the trees. Around the tree brace uh, bases is always a good one to look for. Some wire, some chicken wire. We've seen all this on video about a year ago when we come in here. So all part of the school. Look at that. There's actually part of an old concrete pit. So it really shows where the school was. And as I said to Luke, when they pulled the school down, they would have just pulled it down. They wouldn't have moved any of this um, blocks or bricks or anything away. They would have just pushed it into a heap, and there it lay. And there it all is there, So, or well, some of it. Some of the old pipes and plumbing. So, anyway, what, um, what I did not realise last time I was in here, also, uh, what I've just found out through my research, let me just put that down. Over the back here, uh, over in front of us, or behind us, I should say, was the old school that you just seen. Over the back here though, let's walk through all those spider webs. Over the back here though, it was the old sports oval, or what I presume was the old sports oval, because once upon a time there was trees bordering the outline of this schoolyard, but there was nothing in the middle here. So imagine all that as an empty paddock, as I said, just with trees bordering around the outside to indicate the boundary of the schoolyard. And the school, as I said, is sitting right at the front here. So. What I didn't do last time is venture too far out the back here. The grass is a little bit longer, harder to get through, but I did not know there was anything out here. So if all the kids were playing out here, and I've just found that out last night through the map that I've found, which I'll show you a little bit later, uh, then look, this is going to be the best spot for us to hit today and try and hit on a few coins as this would have been the old school sports oval. I know it doesn't look like it now, but that's what it originally was. So let's go find the detector again. Let's jump on it and let's see if we can prove that theory. Well, before we go too much further down on the old sports oval, what I think was the sports oval, let me just show you the old map of this school site and show you what I was meaning with the trees bordering the outline of the oval and the school tucked away up at the front there. So up top left corner, I'll throw that uh, image, black and white, grainy, hard to see, hard to read, I know. However, it shows enough to indicate the old school here. And uh, look, it shows enough to, com uh, to put a comparison down uh, to know that we are in the right spot. We are on top of the old school site here. And as you'll see in the map there, uh, you can see that all this um, uh, treed section, all the pine trees that are behind me, well, they're all cleared away. They're all gone. It's just the outline around what I presume was the old school oval. And it was all, um, all uh, part of the school. That whole boundary line was part of the school. It was all allotted to the school ground. So I'm certain they would have used it. And I'm certain the kids would have been out the back here playing. And we just now need to get through all the trees and try and, uh, try and pick up on a few coins. Well, Darren just yelled out, it is very quiet. And I agree, very, very quiet. Until you come across signals like this. Doesn't that sound good? Let's make sure the volume's right up. That's better. Could be our first coin in amongst the bush here, in amongst the pine plantation. I said, the old oval. It does not matter what we find either today, just a coin or something cool, you know, just to understand uh, this old site. And was there uh, occupation or activity uh, taking place on the old oval here? I'd love to know. Find a few coins that might be able to help prove it. Bingo! One centre. What a winner. Not a silver, not a uh, not a copper penny, a little one cent coin. And that's okay, as I said, just anything had to find off the back here had to indicate the kids running around playing and having fun. And uh, this school shut down in the 70s. Uh, the, uh, the one and two cent coins come out from 66 onwards. Uh, so there we go. Probably a, uh, a coin that the school kid has dropped and lost. Let's see if we can find some more. 
Uh, that was funny. I heard Luke yelling, and I thought it was from over in front of me there. Uh, it turns out that he's actually right behind me. <laughs> I was over there going, what? What did you say? And then I heard him talk again, and I uh, said, he's right there. So, Luke just said then, it's a bit quiet. And I agree, it is a bit quiet in here. But then you come across those signals, just like the one cent coin, and just like this next guy. So I'm thinking... It to be a penny. It could also be another one or two cent coin. Could even be a bullet. Don't think we're going to find too much rubbish in here somehow. I think it's just going to be cool coins. So it's very quiet though, isn't it, Luke? Oh, there he is. Sticking his neck out of the side wall. We've got another little one cent coin. So there we go. Two one cent coins. Bit of a Hansel and Gretel trail. That's all right. It might just lead us onto the silver coins. And that's, uh, look, we don't need them. We've got a florin and we've got a little thrippence already. So I'm quite happy. And now we're just mucking around and trying to prove that theory. Were the kids out on the sports oval and were they dropping the coins? Well, what do we say that we wanted to do here today? Find cool coins in amongst the pine forest. And I think we're doing just that. And we found a couple of one cent coins. We found, uh, well, a part of an old toy car wheel, which I did not show. Uh, just looking though on the outside of this um, pine plantation, we've got those really big, thick old pines and everything on the inside is, well, it's a lot younger. It's a lot skinnier, a lot smaller. So really makes sense with that uh, that image that we were seeing that this was the sports oval and uh, with all those trees bordering the outline probably planted when the school was first founded uh, so really interesting just keep my eyes open as i'm humming along uh, looking at all the different indicators and look at that we have got our first coin or another coin a bit our first old coin let's get in the sun there so we can actually see him he's an old conwell too how awesome so 1920 something i can see no problem about being in the pine plantation here too it's got dark so look at that we've got mozzies everywhere they're biting are biting us like crazy if it wasn't the um the flies outside it's now the uh, the mozzies inside the forest here so 1922 cracker one penny in the forest and possibly one that the kids have dropped or even a parent coming here to spectate uh, their children playing out on the sports field as i said i'm i'm swear that's what it is and it was all attached to the school so there's no way that they wouldn't have been utilizing this ground and there was, uh, well, there wasn't pine trees here as you see today. So 22 penny, we'll take that any day of the week and we'll try and get you onto something uh, better, like a silver coin, another silver. How awesome would that be? So funny story, we just got the con penny from out there. Uh, we just got another bit of rubbish from in front of it, the old drinking cup. And I walked over, I seen a bit of a, a scuff mark on the ground. It was sort of like, sort of like that. It was fresh. So someone's done it, Luke or Darren, I don't know. It was not me. And uh, look, just uh, IDing the signal that's uh, in the hole. It was a bit of a sketchy one. And look at that. Someone's walked away from a penny. But that's okay, because we're here to pick it up. 52 Rue. How awesome. He was a funny signal, though. Like, he was sort of leading off to the left, or he sounded like he was on the left. Uh, but the signal was actually tucked away into the right corner. So I dare say he was maybe laying on his side. And a hard one uh, for someone else to hear prior. So 1952 Rue Penny. We'll take him any day of the week. Thank you very much. Not too far away from the 22, so 30 years difference. Only a few steps away. Let's keep going. Well, only a couple of steps away yet again. We got the 52 from there. We had the 22 from over here. We had the drinking cup coming out from here. Check this bad boy out. Ready? Let's spin you back around on the shovel. How nice is that? Look out. Luke's got a penny. Well done, Luke. No one's got a silver in here just yet, though. Maybe this is our silver. What'd you get, Luke? A roux. Nice, half full. Very nice, very nice. Just waiting for the silver to pop out. That's what I want to see. Florin, or a shilling. We've dug 10 ramhead shillings in the last two weeks. Uh, do you think we'll get one here today? Probably not. We've got a florin. We've got the we're getting the pennies. Let's see if we can get so lucky with another silver coin. I heard glass down there then. Yes, I did. That's the reason why. Part of the old bottle with the lid still attached. He might be Rosella tomato sauce. It does not matter what he is. We're just going to bag him into the pouch and get you on to the next because that's not what we're after. We're after the coins. Let's go get them.
Look out, he's got a toy car. I was just uh, chatting away to Luke. Luke's just got another penny, and I got a bit excited. Uh, yeah, I think it's old Luke. Get off their grass. I love my toy cars. I've got the little truck. How cool is he? Uh, he might be, Lesney. He's been parked up in the forest for quite a while, though. He's missing a back wheel. Oh, no, now he's missing two back wheels. I just broke one off and lost it. Lost it in the ground. I'm not quite sure what he is. Matchbox, Lesney. Uh, Hor Hot Wheels. I don't know. Won't be a Hot Wheels. So we'll just bag him for now. That was very cool. The old toy car. I'm certain. Oh, look, there's got to be a ton more here too. I don't know what the uh, annual uh, enrolment was here at this school. Wouldn't have been too many kids. Probably a couple of dozen. Uh, but look, there would be more toy cars here. Pennies, cap guns. We're going to try and find them. <laughs> Oh dear, something just funny happened. Uh, we went off chasing a wallaby. Uh, we ripped our shorts on the fence. Uh, these are brand new shorts too. They cost me $50. Helena's going to kill me. We did not find the wallaby either. So the wallaby ran off. I was trying to show you, but I couldn't. Uh, but look what it's led us on to. Listen to that. Uh, so coming back uh, from chasing the wallaby, uh, we went and picked up the detector. Bingo, we walked straight onto this guy. Now let's see what he is. With our rip shorts, I said Helena's going to kill me. I bought these shorts up in Queensland. They weren't that cheap either. Let's have a look what we've got though. If a florin pops out, it may make up for it. Not a penny because we've got plenty of them. I'd love to see another silver coin. Oh no, that's all right. It's uh, it's a penny. That's okay because that is another coin at the uh, at the least anyway. So 1958 Rue penny. Bugger, I was really hoping that to be a, um, a florin, another florin. And it's not a 58, it's a 59. So there we go, we were chasing a wallaby and we got ourselves a roo. How awesome. Well, we've really walked a mile and a half today. And as you can see for the afternoon, we've been running around this pine plantation. And it's not the easiest going either, apart from being nice and cool and shady in here. Uh, it's really blocking out the breeze. And to be honest, it's hard going at getting over all the um, sticks and grass and uh, look, falling down branches and everything, as you can see, laying on the uh, on the floor there. That's going to finish us off, though. We've been humming along, picking out the targets, and as you can see, a high 92. I'm not certain it's going to be a coin, but a high 92 is what's going to finish us off because it sounds bloody good. And then we're going to get up the front and uh, see the boys, shoot a conclusion, and show you everything coming out from this site, uh, not to mention the school site next door, or well, the old uh, oval a house site next door, I should say. There we go. I'm getting a bit confused because I'm trying to work out what I'm seeing. Uh, that looks to me like the old hinge. He's even got some enamel paint on him too. Uh, probably the original paint off the uh, off the school building. So very cool. The old hinge plate, I dare say, off the front door of the school. How awesome. What a piece to find and save. Not a coin, but a cool piece nonetheless. So I said, let's get up the front now. Let's do the wrap up, the conclusion, and show you everything coming out today. Alrighty guys, so that wraps it up for us today. We are packing up. We've got all our finds laid out on the pouch. And as you've seen, we've been hitting up a couple of new sites today. Uh, the first couple being the old house site and the old sports oval. Uh, Luke and Darren snagged a couple of coins on the oval. I snagged a couple of coins on the old house site. And it's been a killer of a morning. And then we jumped over here to the old pine plantation and hunting at the old school. Or what's left of the old school. Uh, picking up a bit of rubbish and also a lot of coins once again. Uh, flood out with pennies, I will say. Uh, flood out with flies too, though. Uh, crazy so we've got all the rubbish here even the old drinking cup which is really really cool uh, sitting uh, behind a pine tree there uh, plus the old um, plate lock or part of the old hinge off the school he's even still got the enamel painting on him so we can see what color the school was how awesome and uh, we also had the toy truck coming out plus a run of pennies we've got two four six eight and nine with the 22 a com penny in the middle being in the best condition so funnily enough this school was founded in 1921 uh, so to find a 22 penny well it's only a year after it first started so how cool is that a couple of one cent coins a two cent coin and we had the little button coming from the old house site with the little shank in the back still a two one dollar coins one that was found on the surface and last but not least the big boy florin the 1947 cracker florin and the second one for me this year and uh, look we're only what the 8th or the 9th of january luke and that's the second florin for the month for the year so how awesome and luke's doing the same i uh, will jump over here Excuse the noisy trucks. We're going to spin you around. Sorry, Luke, I'm going to put me back to you, mate. 
And uh, Luke's doing the same. He's got a florin there the other day, and today he's got his second florin, 1943, as you can see. What a bloody cracker. Early type design. Both of mine have been 47 so far. Luke also has managed to snag himself a couple of little thrippences off in the pine plantation hunting around the school here too, which is just awesome, plus four pennies, one that is nearly curled up, like I said before, like a drinking cup. He also had the part of the stamp, which is really, really cool. A two, four, five, six, seven and a two cent coin. So seven dollars and a two cent coin, three silvers, four pennies, and a stamp. Tell you what, you've done well, Buster, and uh, guess what, mate? Guess what we're doing on the way home? Uh, eating. Eating, yes, but where are we eating? I'm gonna take you to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I take you to the best places, don't I? I'm not pressed. <laughs> <laughs> You're dressed fine. Uh, look, we've got a roadhouse on the way home though. It's my favourite little milk bar to stop at. And on the way here, I said to Luke, oh, we've got to stop there on the way home, mate. I was nearly tempted to pull it, uh, pull in there on the way here. Uh, but look, I was not hungry at that stage. Now I am, and so is Luke. And uh, they have the best homemade sausage rolls there. Uh, so we're going to go get one on the way home and eat it. Eat the hell out of it all the way home. So I'm going to savour mine. Uh, maybe even get two. I don't know. But look, we'll get a drink. We'll get some chips for the boys. Luke's going to have a sausage roll. I'm taking him out for dinner. <laughs> Always take you to the best places. So yeah, look, that's about it for us today, guys. On the way home, we're going to stop and get some uh, something to eat. But we've had a great day, uh, nonetheless. And look, we will be back here in future because there's more here to do. Uh, so uh, anyway, we'll see you on that next adventure. And I look forward to it. Cheers.